alone I have tried in vain Never no more to call your name When you left you broke my heart Because I never thought we'd part Every hour in a day you will hear me say Baby won't you please come home Big gloom. Somebody hit you for a hundred and one shot today. Oh, come on, pal. Don't give me the cold shoulder just because I'm a little late with that loot I owe you. Do you know who that is? That's my own private little gold mine. At least it will be soon. So what are you worried about a measly couple of grand? Dinah's loaded. When we get hitched, half of that's gonna be mine. I'll be able to pay you easy. Maybe I'll make you best man at our wedding. You know, one of those big fancy society weddings. <laughs> Well, it's been a nice talk, Frankie, but I gotta go now. You know, make with the pretty music. I want the two grand. Sure, sure, right after the wedding. Even if there is a wedding, there isn't gonna be any dough. What are you talking about? I told you, Dinah's loaded. Today I check for myself. Dinah Wells hasn't got a sou of her own. Her older sister, Charlotte, controls the whole estate. She's laid down the law. If Dinah marries you, she'll cut her off without a cent. So you better forget about the poor little rich girl and find yourself another touch fast. Oh, I don't care how, but you get the dough. OK, OK, but it'll take a few days. No few days. Tomorrow. It's not enough time. Tomorrow. Well, you don't play a horn anymore. Not with five broken fingers. I'll get the dough. All right. Tomorrow, I promise. Joe, honey, what's the matter? Well, that man did something to you, didn't he? He hurt you. I got trouble, Donna, baby. Big, big trouble. I gotta raise two grand. And fast. Two grand? Time no see. Hey, you hear about one of the big recording outfits wanting to sign me up? Oh, that's great. Which one is it? Well, I'm not free to say yet. One of the biggest, though. Of course, everything isn't signed and sealed yet, but you know how those things are. They take time. Sure, I suppose they do. And you know what I'm going to do for you, Danny boy? I'm going to sign my very first gold record just for you, personally. Oh, well, that's very nice. But, Joe. Yeah? You're knocking all the leaves off the bush. What bush? The one you're beating around. What's really on your mind? <laughs> what a sense of humor. Who writes your stuff? Knocking all the leaves off. Well, the truth is, I'm in real rough trouble. All the way up to here. You're the only one I could come to, Dan. He told me about the trouble with Fishman, his deadline to get the $2,000, and what would happen to him if he didn't. Joe Carlos hadn't got the nickname Careless Joe for nothing. He played the horses, numbers, and women, not necessarily in that order, but he played them. Because I liked the man, and it was hard not to, 
I'd helped him out a few times. It'd just be a loan, of course. A couple of weeks, a month, maybe. You get it back, I swear. How? I, I'll work two jobs. And then, of course, if I can cut some platters. Yeah, if. I've known you a long time, remember? I've heard that tune before. I mean it this time. Well, I'm sorry, but I can't go for that kind of money. Wait a minute. Look at that hand. What am I gonna do? How am I gonna make a living? All the fingers broken. Fishman's bluffing. He wouldn't dare pull a thing like that. Wouldn't he? He almost did last night. Can hardly bend him this morning. Well, you don't have to take it. Go to the police. They'll put a restraining order on Fishman. Sure. Then he'd have me killed. Look, I'm not gonna fool around with this guy. He means business. Come on, Dan. Like, I'll give you a note. Sign over my salary. Anything. But you gotta help me out. Look, Joe, it's the first of the month. Even if I had that kind of cash on hand, it really wouldn't help you. What do you mean? Well, first it was 10, then it was 20, the last time it was 50. Now, this time it's 2,000. The next time it'll be three. You've gotta wake up, Joe. Stop depending on other people to bail you out. Straighten up. You've got talent, you make good money. No, you... boy, don't give me no lectures. I didn't come here for that. I got no time. Can't pay Fishman off with words. But I'll get the money somewhere, somehow, you'll see. And thanks a lot, Dan. Joe! Yeah, yeah. This is Charlotte. Charlotte? Not the Charlotte. Yes, the Charlotte, Dinah's sister. Gee, it's nice of you to call, Charlotte. Well, I hope you still think it's nice when I tell you why I've called. I'm sure I will. Why? I have a proposition. What kind? I'm sitting here holding a little bundle of money. Two thousand dollars, exactly. I'll give it to you on one condition. You just name it. Forget about paying your bookmaker or whoever it is, and take this money and go away. Oh, I get it. It's Dinah. You want me out of your hair? Just leave little Dinah alone. Now that's very bright of you, Joe. I don't know. It's not just leaving Dinah. There's my job. But... I don't intend to play games with you. This is my offer, now take it or leave it. When can I get the money? Right now. Can you come right up? I'll be there in about 15 minutes. Good. All right. careless Joe left my place, I couldn't get him out of my mind. I couldn't seriously buy the possibility that Fishman would maim Joe for a couple of thousand dollars. Yet somehow I felt I'd let Joe down. Disturbed, I figured maybe it would help if I at least had a talk with Fishman and got him off Joe's back, if only for a few days or a week, to give him a chance to raise the money. When I couldn't find Fishman at any of his usual haunts in town, there was only one place left to look for him, Del Mar Racetrack. He wasn't around the paddock area. 
I headed for the box seat section of the clubhouse. Passing to stand the first time, it's uh, Sunchal in front of length on one half. West Lady is second and a half length. Fantan is third the length. Montanes is fourth. Don't set the pace. Don't set the pace. That's it. Down the back stretch is Montanez now in front. By Got a good one this race, Frank? Who knows? Want to talk to you about Careless Joe. You know Joe Carlos? After the race, after the race. Go to the back. Go to the back. Go to the back. And I got the winner in the next anyway. Uh, about Joe. I understand he owes you some money if they're giving him a bad time. Oh, so you want to know about Joe's two grand, huh? Yeah. There it is. You mean he paid you? Yeah. This morning. What's going on? Where's Joe? That's what this cop would like to know. Joe's on the lam. Why? They say he killed a dame. Killed a dame? Who? Dinah's sister Charlotte was killed this morning, and they think Joe did it. Well, why Joe? Well, the cab driver told the cops he took him to her house and later saw him sneak away. They think he killed Charlotte and stole some money from her. Some money? Look, we've got to find Joe. Do any of you know where he is? No, I don't, I don't see him. Don't you know? No. No, I don't know. Mr. Adams, won't you come in? Thank you. I hate to bother you at a time like this, Dinah. That's all right, Mr. Adams. Anything that'll help Joe. I understand you weren't in the house when it happened. That's right. Uh, I wasn't. I was very upset over Joe's troubles. I, I went for a long walk about an hour before it happened. It's all in the police report. When I... When I got back, I... I found Charlotte like she was. And it didn't occur to you that Joe might have done it? Well, of course not. He's too kind and gentle, too happy-go-lucky. I, I still can't believe that Joe would do a thing like that. Well, I feel the same way. The evidence is stacked pretty high. He was here at that approximate time. There's a witness to that. He needed money. Now, he got it somewhere because he paid his bookie this morning. He did? Yes. Now, the police don't know about that yet, but they'll find it out. And it won't help Joe. I suppose not. I'd like to have a talk with him before the police get him. Have you any idea where he could be hiding? Mm -mm. Oh, but you've got to find him and, and help him, Mr. Adams. Somehow. Well, I'll do what I can. Meanwhile, if he gets in touch with you, call me. I will. Oh, I will. about Joe. I thought you wouldn't. I, uh, I did know where he was hiding. He, he told me to come here. He said that you could help him. He told... You seen him? No, no, he phoned me. You know what a jam he's in. Can you help him? Well, I don't know. I'd have to talk to him personally, get his story before I decide that. He didn't kill that woman. I know it. He swore it, and 
Joe's never been a very good liar. I could always tell when he was lying. All right, where is he? Y you won't turn him into the cops. Well, I can't do anything for him until I've seen him. Now, where is he hiding? It's on Beach Lane in La Jolla. He's staying with an artist-type friend of his named Ben the Beachcomber. Can you go now? Yes. Could I go with you? I'd like to see him, too. I think you'd better sit tight at the club so I'll know where to call you. Okay. Mexico. Once said I could have the place anytime I needed it. What are you gonna do, Dan? You gotta help me out of this. I get you out of a murder rap? I didn't kill Charlotte. She was already dead when I got there, I swear. What about the money? You paid Fishman his 2000 Sure. I'll admit that. So I stole. There was all that lovely money staring me right in the face. So it was a stupid thing to do. I acted on impulse on the spur of the moment. I was out to get that loot I needed any way that I could. Anyway. You don't think at a time like that. You act. And anyway, she was gonna give me the money. So why should I let her being dead cheat me out of it? All right. So it was a dopey thing to do, but that's exactly the way it happened. What do you mean she was going to give you the money anyway? He told me about Charlotte's phone call. For some reason I couldn't completely analyze, this seemed to lend credence to Joe's story. But the fact remained that he had committed a crime. He had stolen the money. I had to turn him over to the police. I told him that. Are you out of your mind? Or they'd lock me up and throw the keys away. Well, you have no choice. They'll pick you up eventually. It'll just be worse for you then. Well, I guess you're right. But, Dan, you've got to get me out of the murder rap. Give it everything you've got and stick with it. I'll try. Let's go. I delivered poor Joe to the police. If he was telling the truth, there was only one conclusion to draw. It was a pretty wild one, and I need some help to prove it. Hello? Uh, Dinah? Yes. Who's this? This is Connie Davis, the cigarette girl at the Blue Moon. You know, one of Joe's friends. Or uh, didn't he ever tell you about me? I think he mentioned the name. What's on your mind? Money, Dinah. Lots of money. What do you mean? You've uh, got lots of money now, haven't you? And now that your sister is dead. What are you getting at? You told the police that you weren't at home, weren't in the house, when your sister was killed, remember? That's right. I wasn't. Oh, yes, you were. You never left the house. Watching, waiting for Joe to show up. I was there for a couple of hours before Joe got there. You never left the house for any walk. What are you trying to pull? If I go to the police and tell them that you were home when your sister was killed, they'll ask how much you had to gain by her death. If you have any information for the police, you just go right ahead. And I'll tell them that you're just trying to pull a seamy little blackmail scheme. When they'll also learn that you're in love with Joe and naturally will do anything to protect him. And at the same time, get rid of me. I, I can't blame you for trying, Connie. And I'm willing to forget you called. No. 
But no, you can't bluff me, Dinah. I'll wait at the club after closing tonight. Either you bring me $5,000 in cash, or else I'll go to the cops. This is final. You heard what she said? How she reacted? I, I think you're wrong. It couldn't have been her. She wasn't a bit scared. Or she was pretending not to be. Uh, uh, I think we're barking up the wrong tree. Well, if we are, there's only one alternative. Nobody but Dinah would have left that $2,000 in the body. Now, if she didn't do it, Joe's lying. Now, we're going to go ahead just the way we planned. Not Joe. OK. But I, I'm a little bit scared. Oh, don't be. $2,000. So guess who turned out to be the patsy? Like the old joke. I should have paid the 2000 in the first place. Baby, won't you please come home? Cause your daddy's all alone. I have tried in vain, never no more, to call your name. When you left, you broke my heart. Because I never thought we'd part. Every hour in the day you will hear me say, Baby, won't you please come home? 